Hello and welcome to the Drake and Josh podcast. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jacob. And I'm Abby. Abby's back. I'm back. The producer is back. We're very happy to have her back. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Today we watched um, fucking The, the wedding. wedding. The El Camino episode, as I remembered it. Because I loved El Caminos as a kid. Nice. El, Cam- El Caminos are pretty cool. Yeah, that used to be my dream car when I was a kid. Really? It was an El Camino, yeah. I've never had an opinion about a car before. They're awesome because they have, it's like a truck bed, but it's a car. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I actually would still like an El Camino. Yeah, it'd be dope. A like, fixed up one? Yeah. Or maybe you right. fix it up. You do like a... Bit of both. Yeah. Depends like, on how... Depends. What's that show on the History Channel with the guy who, who has the car shop? There's a lot American of... American like he, No, he's like the... <laughs> He's like the Count or whatever. Yeah, Count's Customs. The Count. That's his name. <laughs> the, That's show, the show is Counting Cars, and his shop is Count's Customs, and Jesus. he is the Count. A one, a two, a three. Oh, my God. A three. He's, he's, got, like he's got one of the, no, that, the shop guys. That name. was more of uh, the uh, Airhead commercial of oh. the owl. That's what yeah, I was doing I an impression that. of. No, that's from um, the... A one, a two, a three. That's the... You know, he's the looking the... Uh, yeah, Tootsie Pop. Oh, that's yeah. Tootsie Pop commercial. Airheads are the ones where their heads explode. Yeah, Those are true. classic. Hey. Hey. Which is classic. really messed up in a way. No, whatever. they're great. Um, so today we are drinking Ooh. a mix of Michelob Ultra. Michelob um, Ultra infusions. And lime and prickly pear cactus. And Abby has an empty can of spiked sparkling seltzer pina colada flavored of Smirnoff's brand. Yeah. Get, try the variety pack, but the pina colada one is definitely the best. Did you try the cranberry one yet? Uh, no. I don't think so. There's one flavor I haven't tried. Maybe it's cranberry. I, think I don't it's the know. the cranberry lime. Mm. Haven't tried it. Sounds good. I bet it's really good. Um, it's on my list. We've we also-, also got um, Bud Light Platinums, which are garbage. Um, mm-hmm. took me an eternity to drink that, um, that Last BLP. Yeah. yeah. The first one, I mean, I thought it was okay. I downed it. I didn't quick. like it. Did not like the flavor. I'm it was putting me off a hundred percent. I'm not a fan. Um, and then we also got Dos Equis, which I can, I, I like, I, Dos Equis are very neutral that you can just drink them easy. I've never had one and no I problem. still haven't had one. I didn't have one tonight. When All you've I've had is the Michelob's and one of the Bud Light Platinum's. If, and when you do try Dos Equis, they're fine. You know, there's Just no problem. I, I like them. They're, you know. Yeah. It's a good, like, you know. Is it like? Even beer. Okay. I mean. Not a whole lot of flavor. Like, you is know? it like a Corona that doesn't need a lime? Yeah. But worse? Oh, a Corona that doesn't, that sounds nice. But like a, a less flavorful than a Corona. Uh, yeah. But it has lime in it? No, that oh. he said that doesn't need a lime. It's, it's like, because Corona to me. I can't drink it without a lime because I think it tastes bad, but at least it has a bunch of flavor. But once you throw the lime in there, it balances out the other flavors mm-hmm. more. So there's still flavor in it, but like Land Shark and I guess Dos Equis are basically Coronas that don't need lime. Mm. Yeah. But they're not as good as a Corona with a lime. I mean, I I think, I'm a big fan. I was going to say, I think all drinks could benefit from a lime. That's fair. Like a little lime wedge, just throw that in there. Milk? No, no drag. Oh, yeah. I, milk. Yeah, I think milk. Milk with a nice lime wedge. You're gonna God, die. You're disgusting. gonna choose this hill to die on. Good. <laughs> that's kind of gross. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, but yeah, we also ordered some uh, buffalo wow wings. Yeah, it was really good. Um, also, we're recording after our month break. It was only a month, right? It was about four weeks. Well, break. I mean. We just posted an episode yesterday, so... No, I mean, like, from our last recording session. <laughs> yeah, it's been yeah, probably... So, it's been a while, because you guys recorded, like, five episodes last time. You are on a roll. Yeah. In the meantime, Abby and I have tried keto. Yes. I don't know what Trevor's been up to. <laughs> I, I worked on a reality show that I don't think I'm actually legally allowed to say the name of, according to a non-disclosure agreement. I oh, he signed. signed one. Well, he's working on a, on a reality, reality show. Reality show. And a we tried bit. keto. Yeah, we tried keto. It's fine. It was all right. It's effective. I almost died. <laughs> it's effective. Not a lot of variety. Those cookies made though, me feel like trash. Sad. Yeah. It yeah. hurt my stomach. You you tricked me into eating a bad cookie. <laughs> yeah, I those did, cookies yeah. are garbage. I made garbage cookies and I told Trevor it was his birthday gift. He oh, believed yeah. me. Because Trevor. Oh, happy birthday, Trevor! Happy birthday, yeah. Trevor! Yeah. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. Thank Trevor you. came down for his birthday last. We didn't record that weekend, but yeah. Trevor came down for the July Fourth I mean, weekend. Every time I come here cannot be a recording session because then it's just work. Every time I come, we gotta hang out. Yeah, we do work. We're dude. friends, man. We're friends. Yeah, first. work for friends work first. first. We're friends. Oh first. right, right, right. Friends right, first. You work just, first. You got a little huh? mixed up. What? <laughs> oh right, sorry, bud. Um, <laughs> we grilled out with uh, with Kirk. That was fun. It was a really good. We time. bought a mini grill. 
And now we have that. We just own that. Abby and I own our very first grill. I'm excited. It's a I'm little. Very proud of y'all. It's I'm, a little like Bubba brand our, grill. <laughs> I'm excited for our grilling future. It's so tiny. Have I you guys can't grilled? imagine. Our sense? grilling and no. thrilling future. Why not? What? No. You're the grillers. You guys need to come over to grill for us. I guess we could have grilled tonight, we need to be but the I didn't want to cook. Home. Didn't okay. feel like it. Yeah, no one did. No, I didn't. Want I told to. you guys, man. I sensed it. I was like, I ain't cooking. I didn't We're want in to public tonight. trying to figure out what to eat, and then it's like, let's just order food. Yeah. yeah, we had just had a cart full of beer, and we were like, fuck it, let's leave. Yeah, we yeah did, I think it was a good cart call. Full of beer. It was it a good was, call. We looked like the alcoholics. It was great. No, nah, we were. No, fine, we dude. just looked like young people having a good time. Yeah, dude, they carted us hard. Yeah, she said we have baby faces, which is true. I think all of us have baby faces. I don't, think all, I, I don't think I do with a beard. I was about to say, least of all Jacob, because he does have a beard. I do, I def- a, do I really have a baby face? No, it's okay I if I do. You definitely no. look young. You don't look young. You I don't look you too look young, young to not have beard. <laughs> I think you look young, I think, because you have insanely beautiful skin. Thank you. I think You're you welcome. look exactly what age you are. I don't think you look younger or How old do I look? You, you look, look younger young. than you are. <laughs> Abby, I'm sorry. You look really young. That's not going to be a problem when I'm That's 50 not an and issue. I look exactly. 30. It's not an issue ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an issue when you're trying to buy alcohol. It was only annoying not when really. we were at that Mexican restaurant and the lady was making such a big deal about carding me. Oh, yeah. And I was like, lady, I'm 23. Please just let me have a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to come to Date City. I don't uh, like when waiters Because there's do a that. Mexican restaurant that does dollar margarita nights. In oh, Date shit. City. Dollar margaritas. That's so you guys awesome. got to come up for dollar margarita. I think that was last night actually caroline oh, really? went we'll yeah have to go huh. there sometime come oh, up yeah, see that the... sounds dope oh i got a puppy since the last time true yeah big things have changed you guys my my family got a puppy she's a little i think at this point 11 week old what's yellow. her name piper a little baby piper you guys did stick with the name we did stick with That's the piper so cute. name and you said it was a surprise for your dad right yes was he surprised he was very surprised was he like did he cry did I not, didn't I send you the video? No. No. Oh, he has Trevor. A, oh. There's a video. There's a video of dad. Trevor, you'll have to show us after the podcast. Don't, don't pull it up don't now. Don't pull it up right now, Trevor. Show say, us after the podcast. You could tweet it out. But <laughs> sure. <laughs> That'd be no, maybe random. Not. Maybe not. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> weird. <laughs> That'd be random. I'll just show you guys after. Remind me. I forgot. Also, follow us on Twitter at... Harbor oh, underscore shit. boys. Okay, yeah. At Harbor underscore boys. Yeah. Great, great I only content. I only know because I just heard it in our last one. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember if it was the Harbor Boys or just yeah. Harbor. Because I guess yeah. we had changed it that night during yeah. our last recording Harbor session. Harbor underscore boys. So we have a lot of content on there. Yeah, Abby's doing a she's phenomenal at, job. She's posting as much as like a social media intern. She's <laughs> She's our intern right she, now. I'm unpaid. <laughs> yes. We're all unpaid. <laughs> Hopefully someday they'll, you know, hire me full what? time. But <laughs> well, oh, it's not we'll, in the future? Or? We'll think about it. Oh, so. we should pay okay. Abby. What? We should pay Abby something. Agreed. I pay her. In what? Love. Love. <laughs> and support. <laughs> That's nice. I pay you. pay the bills, but. <laughs> I do pay you in kidding. friendship. True. But I guess I could pay you in money. Oh we'll figure God, that no. out later. We start not... start Venmoing her every month. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> every month. Okay. I don't make that much money. <laughs> um, But yeah, so we watched the wedding episode. Yeah. Aunt Catherine. Oh, She's right. getting We're married. We're talking about a show. The great Aunt Catherine. Oh, Catherine. great. So it's her, it's either one of their parents, aunts or uncles, or yeah. aunts. Yes. Okay. So it's either the mom or the. Yeah. Um, I good only, for her for finding love late in life. I only but know also 90, one though, of my great aunts point, and just, uncles. Just have sex. I mean, at that point, then who, who cares? Like, Do you if guys you know marry, your great married. aunt and uncles? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I only it's know, my parents oh. I know one of them. Well, I know. I think only one of them is alive right now, mm. but I know him. I can only you know? think they're those. like extra grandparents, basically. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, I think I can think of two that are alive. You know him. So you know him. Maybe three. Okay, maybe. Oh, well, well you know. one's one's like. It, it's my great uncle's wife. That's confusing. Okay, no. It's so your it's great like aunt. it's my great aunt, great aunt so but it's like it's not a blood related aunt. It's a married aunt. Does that make sense? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred. That's one of sense. them, and then the other two. That's I think. the one that I have. My great uncle. He's a married great uncle, but he's still my great uncle. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the other two. Yeah, they're solid. Are blood. Yours is Betty and Peter, right? Yeah, they're and great. Betty and Uncle Peter. They always have us over for like pizza parties and stuff. It's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Aunt Betty does love hosting. She loves hosting. She they're does. Nice. She loves hosting. <laughs> I'm a big family. I'm having a hard time figuring it out. Whatever. That's fine. I have at least two. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so yeah. So they're trying to get to a wedding. So it starts off. 
um, in the opening scene where they're just talking about the, their great aunt Catherine, how she's mean as fuck. They yeah. hate her yeah. so uh, much. Was Josh lifting weights? Yes. Yeah, he, he, cur- he did like one curl. Was he? Is Are they trying to like explain why he's had weight loss? Uh, like, since you know last what? season, it he's could be a subtle reason. A little it. bit. Yeah, since I, last season, he's been working out. That out of character for what I have in my mind of him. Well, no, the foot surgery, paging Doctor Drake. Yeah, he. If we was can call also back to that, yeah, call back. I love a good callback. Yeah, he was weightlifting. He was doing deadlifts and stuff. Oh, nice, good for him. He's getting his life together. Was it? I wonder if he's I trying it was keto. Cl- like clenches. It was, yeah. Like lifting. I don't know what it was. Clench is that what it's called? Or? I don't know. I, he I'm, lifted it above his head. So for all you gym rats out there. Yes, that's <laughs> clench and pull. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. that doesn't sound right. I haven't. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> it doesn't it's not sound right, right at all. You're, it's probably not. I you know, I just got a new protein uh, that's cookies and cream flavor. Oh, yeah. They Ooh. were like, buy one, get one, or whatever. Buy one, get one 50% off, which I saw the sign when we went to uh, Publix and yeah. GNC is still that that's um, awesome. sale. So That's if, crazy. Trevor, I... in case you. Did not really like the protein out. flavor that much, the cookies and cream one. I thought it was all right. It's better fine. than the vanilla. The it's vanilla fine. was not good. I still like the chocolate good one the best, though. Yeah. I want to try the strawberry. I should have got strawberry. Fuck. We should have mm-hmm. got the... Strawberry sounds good. We should have got the Natter Days. Are you supposed to... I'm still confused about protein powder. Are you supposed to have it with water or milk? E- either, either one or. you want. But, like, aren't you not supposed to drink milk before you, like, work out outside? Yeah, I would that have it sense, afterwards. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, if you're doing milk, I would definitely have it after. Yeah, I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Milk's <laughs> just going to add extra calories and sugar. Yeah. Which is Unless energy. it's, like, almond milk, like yeah. the one that Purr. we have. I'm but, yeah. sorry. Even that's going to add extra calories. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So, Craig and Eric come over. Yeah. While the family is trying to leave for the wedding. Yeah, a couple they of nerds. They want a laptop. They yeah. want they want Josh's laptop. He's got the belt looped down again. Yep. He had that the, the same thing when um when he got beat up by the the grandpa right <laughs> didn't because we talked about it at one point. I don't think their outfit ever changes. It's always the fucking really. Same. Do they have different shirts? With the they same have shirts different shirts on? and stuff. Yeah, it's just sure? always very similar. Yeah, they okay. definitely change. <laughs> they don't just pull a cartoon. Well, they're they're on brand. For sure. They are very on brand. They're you know? so on brand you can't tell if they're actually wearing different clothes or not. Perfect. Um, oh, and the crowd woos when Drake comes out. Because he's wearing a suit. Yeah, he's, he's wearing like, a tuxedo. Woo! Is that a tux or is it oh. just a suit with a bow tie? I don't know the I think difference. It was a tuxedo. I didn't see the pointed like white collar for the undershirt. Isn't I, that? I want to say it was a tuxedo. I literally don't know the difference. I've I, never worn a tuxedo. Ever? I, Have you? No, I've always worn suits. I don't think I. Yes. For I should have. Prom, I, I, I should have worn one for prom. I missed my chance. I'll never wear. I'll and wear I wore. Leather. What is the difference? Senior homecoming. They're cooler. I, they're fancier. But like, why? What makes them fancier? The shirt. Something about it. The shirt does, or the jacket. Senior homecoming. The I, shirts. What I noticed. I also I wore a tux because this. I was on homecoming court, and everyone on homecoming court You're on got homecoming a. Homecoming f- court. Yeah, it was a dumb story. Oh. Um, I'd love to hear it. Okay. <laughs> Me and a guy, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, he had just moved to the school yeah, uh, for senior year. Mm-hmm. And so me and my friends all kind of were like, hey, you're going to be our friend now. Nice. Like, Welcoming him in. Yeah. What uh, a good guy. He doesn't guy. talk to us anymore. Rip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Um, suck, Liam. People grow apart. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways. Sadly. Uh, yeah. Me and him in the friend group, we were talking and our one friend who was a cheerleader, she was like, hey, nominate me for homecoming court. And we're like, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. So we go to nominate and on the form, it's like, nominate your guy, nominate your girl. And none of the guys who were like really running for homecoming court, we actually cared about or liked at all. So we were like, hey, I'll nominate you. You nominate me. It'll be funny. We both ended up on court. So I guess not many guys got nominated. Oh, fun. So me and him just were on court for some reason. Fun. And yeah, I ended up paired up with my friend uh, who we were nominating, which was a good time. Her dad had some sort of Camaro. It was like a, a pace car for some race or something. So we got to ride in that in the homecoming parade. That's so cool. That was cool. I'm not in the yearbook, though. They forgot us. At all? They forgot us. They remembered my friend, Liam, and the girl he was with don't remember us. Damn. Fuck. And, like, for me, forgetting me, fair. Whatever. I understand. <laughs> my friend, though, she was actually pretty popular. So really? I was like, why did they forget her? Whatever. Crazy. Uh, but yearbook yeah, all drama. The, I love it. I live for some yearbook drama. All the people on homecoming, all the guys on homecoming court got... Free tux rentals from Men's Warehouse. Oh. Or discounted or something. That's I don't, awesome. I don't think I was ever in any of the yearbooks. Besides your picture. Besides my photo. Yeah. I was. I think I was in there for, like, helping build the homecoming float, because I help build the homecoming float every year. Oh, that's cool. I was in the National Honor Society. I was in the English Honor Society. I was in the Environmental Club. And I was in 
Drama Club? Like, yes. Was that I was acting in or was nothing. That... <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> I was in nothing and I could not have been less of a person that people knew. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been in drama. You're a good actor. I wasn't in drama. I didn't have the confidence. Was I, yeah. Was I in any clubs in high school? I was on the I golf was in team. film club. That's cool. So We didn't have a film club. Oh, I was in yearbook too. Hello. Oh, well. Film club was unofficial though. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's why we didn't get photos. <laughs> you guys should have made an official club. That's on the teacher, I think. No, wait, you have to ask a teacher to be your sponsor, right? They were. We stayed in their class after. And they just never officially... I have you... no idea. I don't know how that <laughs> shit went down. When I... I was when I was in yearbook, I um, we had to count up the superlatives at the end of the year. I got second runner-up for, like, prettiest. Aww. <laughs> Did you really? I was the third prettiest girl in my school. Nice. <laughs> of a, in a class of, like, 100. Nice. <laughs> so it's not great, but it's That's pretty good. Something. That's pretty <laughs> good. That's really good. I wasn't nominated for anything. Nice. I, I mean, I got the hottest chick in school. Well, you got the, the third hottest chick in school. Nah, <laughs> not bad. According to you, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, good times. Yeah, I wasn't in shit. You weren't in nothing. Yeah, I wasn't nominated for anything because I was not popular. Nope. But also wasn't a loser, I think. You were in the middle ground. Yeah, I was a middle ground kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, that's where most kids are. I, I was. I was a loser. God, I hope I was. I was in the middle ground. I will say my I friend, knew some popular oh. kids, but I wasn't really friends with them. I knew some nerds. Maybe I was friends with them. I was in the bottom ground. No, you Dead weren't. Deadbeats. You were not. Oh, my gosh. My friends Kids were... used to spit on us no, in the hallway. No, don't listen to him. He's they lying. They said, fuck you. Oh, my gosh. My friend group was all the people who didn't really fit in with the rest of the friend groups. And we had a couple yeah. of people who were another, like the cheerleader. And then right. I think we had somebody who played baseball. I think Chris played baseball. Anyways, we had people like that who were like part of those other groups, but were friends with us more. Mm-hmm. So I didn't play any sports. No sports, schmortz. Golf. That's why I, say. I went out of my way football, in school football, football, to football, football, tennis, hockey, I had, golf. I went out of my way in school to not uh, have a sports class. Yeah, I, I, I took, did. Wait, I did what? like every. I did like every other elective. Yeah, I took PE online. I really did that, but wait, I, really? I didn't. I did. Hope. I did that. I did PE I t- online, took, but then when I'm the one, I took it when I had I think to. I'm like the one student who like when they said. Go do these activities. I did them because I didn't. Oh. I'm like such a nerd. I didn't want to get. You in know trouble. what? I took a physical fitness health class online too, and I screwed up the heart rate on one of them. Oh really? And my teacher called me thinking I was having a heart attack oh or my something. God. <laughs> I was like, "Are you okay? Your heart rate's ridiculous." I'm like, "Oh, I um forgot." Oh, no. Carry forgot to divide it by uh, <laughs> two because I just like exponentially increased numbers because I did, I did the the starting like push ups and sit ups and all that stuff. Oh, and so then, you just kept increasing. So you I just, just think... kept increasing your heart rate too. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't great. And then I fixed it. And it was yeah. fine. But yeah. I took weightlifting in PE. Gross. In real life, badass dude. Weightlifting was all right. I wish I would have taken like, it. I would have been massive <laughs> i was not we had i had it the last period of the day and then the guy who was teaching it was also the football coach and he did not give a flying fuck about the last period <gasps> of the day oh my god that's like my <laughs> history teacher in ninth grade was the cheerleading coach and every day she tried to recruit me for cheerleading and i you was like done it. no why didn't you do it i was not i wanted to be a cheerleader in like third grade i didn't want to be a cheerleader in high school why not i was not a cheerleader girl are you kidding me i was like a Reading like John Green books, trying to be like a manic pixie dream girl kind of girl. <laughs> what does that mean? You know. You know what it means. What is manic pixie? I don't know what that means. You've never heard of manic pixie dream girl? <gasps> manic pixie dream girl is basically like, think of like the girl in a story that's only there to try and fix the boy's life. But oh. she's like perfect and she's like, how is she so whimsical and how is she so dreamy? How is it? That's, it's like, it's like. Yeah. Jacob, how is it she is so all those things? Yeah, I don't know. How that's am I wild. so dreamy and whimsical? It's crazy. Jacob. I don't know, dude. It's, <laughs> like, I mean, it's overwhelming. I even, I even did cheerleading in high school. You were a cheerleader? I did powder puff. I don't know what that means, but We've it's hilarious. We've told the story on the oh, okay. I have definitely. It, it's when the guys cheerlead and the girls play football. Oh, okay. So it's not. So we all dressed up. So as, you weren't in cheerleading. You know powder puff is? No. Oh, really? I so had, you, I had not big, in a, you were I had, not in the cheerleading. No, I wore a skirt. one game thing. Yeah. So you like to say that you were cheerleading and then actually tell the story, but you weren't actually. No, I've never. There are some dudes that do cheerleading. There are. Of course. This kid from my high school, he did it just straight up to yeah. get women. Oh. One, one of my friends. Some of from, them just do it because they like it. Yeah, Hello. one of my friends at high school, he was a one of the UF cheerleaders. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I think he has a rap album out currently. 
cool. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be like that guy. <laughs> I know he put one out. I just don't know if he's put out another one. I thought he put out another one. So anyway, what was um, the next? Uh, so uh, yeah, so they're going to the wedding. Um, they Craig and Eric took the laptop case. Yeah. So uh, Drake is just like, oh my gosh, get out of here. We need to go to a wedding. He was boiling a hot dog. Yeah. He boiled it. He didn't grill it. Well, like, they don't have a grill, do they? Yeah, but you could like pan you fry it. I used yeah. to in college. I pan fried them. I, I what did I even do? I microwaved them. <laughs> Quick, yeah, I mean, you could do anything dog. on it. Well, quicker would be to microwave. I I've microwaved dogs before, of Then course. boil it. Yeah. yeah. My mom used to boil them. Well, they're them. fully cooked. You can eat them raw. You yeah. can do anything. We got, like, I could take one ones. and just, like... I just wrap it in a paper towel, like, microwave it. You wrapped it in a paper towel? Yeah, I don't know why. I just thought I had to. <laughs> and Interesting. Then, <laughs> and then I microwaved it, threw on some ketchup. That was a good meal. In the paper towel? Mustard? Well, I took off the paper towel. You used the paper towel as a bun? Yes. She ate the paper towel. Mustard or... No, just ketchup. I'm only just now getting into the mustard. You got to do game. ketchup and then a whole pickle spear on the side. No, of it. and then um, I'm still trying to in like the pickles. in the in the white bread because you don't great. have buns because you're in college. I mean, it's not like buns are like expensive. <laughs> I never bought buns because it was just more things to buy. I just always used the white bread. Right nice. on, brother. You just would wrap it in a lo- in a piece of bread. Yeah. I mean, that works piece. fine. Yeah, with the pickle spear it in there, and ketchup. Yeah, it feels wrong. Feels wrong. I mean, I, it works fine. Have I you never done that? No, um, never. I must have I've at done some that point so in my life. Many I for sure have not. Not even just in college. Just Guaranteed like no. if we had hot, we just have a pack of hot dogs at the house. It's like last minute. Like who wants? I eat do a remember. Hot dog? It's like yeah, do we have buns? No bread. I do remember a couple of times though in college getting the hot dog packs, the resealable ones, and just like only eating hot dogs for like two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. And, and like, they go on sale, Bogo at yeah. Publix, man. <laughs> And, like, the one time I had chili, too, from leftover from, like, my oh, mom. That's the best. So I just made chili dogs all week. I don't know how I didn't fucking die in college. <laughs> we were young. I ate, like, shit, man. I we ate, ate, like, I shit ate, and drank a ton. And I yeah. weighed so little. College. Uh, I've, gained, I've gained weight since college, for sure. There's no way you have it, Trevor. I don't believe that. I I weigh 152 now, I think. Oh, shit, really? I gained some weight. Yeah, it's the beer gut. <laughs> That's laughable. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, Drake. Um. Where were we at? He. So the so the two guys go and take his whole laptop case because Drake is just kind of like, you need to you need to get out of here. We have a wedding to go to. Here is his laptop case. Just take it. Just get out. And then he slams the door in his face and breaks his nose. Breaks his nose. Yes. Well. Yeah. He asked for a Band-Aid, which, would, what would that he mean? doesn't make yeah. any sense. He was yeah. so close to the door, it was fucked. Yeah. And then when up, Josh man. comes back downstairs, he's like, where's my laptop? Oh, yeah, because while he was, they were calling for him while he was upstairs, and he was- he, His he was, zipper was stuck. Yeah, he gives it, and then you just hear, oh! <laughs> he was jerking off before the wedding. Oh. Jesus. Wow, okay, <laughs> well, that's, that's not, not where I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't thinking that either. You get the zipper stuck in, on his I thought dick. part it's of like, it. Um, I thought part of his sack was stuck in like the zipper. Like something about Mary. <laughs> well, Poor Ben Stiller, he gets his 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 ball his stuck situation in. stuck. Yeah, that's what his I was. What? Re- that's what I was implying. His situation. His what? Situation. <laughs> it's called a Wanted you to say his ball. Oh it's, wow. It's a scrotum. Yeah. Single gets it ball stuck in a zipper on prom night. Yeah, have Sad. you guys seen something about Mary? I did. No, he hasn't seen it. You don't need to see it. It's fine. You didn't miss anything. It's fine. You don't have to see it. Have it's I cute. Seen it? I thought it was gonna be better than it was. It was fine. For it being so iconic, I thought it was going to be better. Yeah. I mean, that's how I felt about Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Wow, how that dare you? That's a great, great movie, movie dude. <laughs> Honestly. You're wrong. Both of us are ganging up on you. <laughs> that's fair. You can. We're I both did... on this mic and, you know, we're divided sides. I really liked that movie. I, I just saw. didn't I've dig it. I've only seen it once, but I really liked it. I should I, watch it again. I great just, movie. I just didn't dig it. I, I love a lot, like all those movies from the era. Weird Science. Weird Science. Pretty in Pink. Good. Pretty pink is okay. Sixteen, wait, sixteen, 16 candles? Sixteen candles is okay. problematic. Very problematic. It is problematic. I really but, can't love it. Like but it's, it's fine. I don't love it, but it's Breakfast very, Club. very entertaining movie Breakfast to watch. Club. Though. Breakfast Club. Breakfast is the one Club is like, the best one out yeah, of all of them. Yeah, definitely Breakfast Club. But like is the best. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, just I was just. Is that the one with the girl in the bathing suit? The classic scene. Not what feeling. Fast Times. Yeah. Okay. That's just not feeling it. Yeah, he's jerking off in the pool like bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't feel it, man. They had the, something about it was just like it was just is that not the one with great. the guy who reminded me of Kirk? Maybe the the guy who the sells tickets. He like has sex and it lasts for like two seconds. Sure. You don't remember that scene? No. He like has sex with that girl and it lasts like no time and then he like no, doesn't talk that. to her. That's sad. Didn't he get her pregnant? What? Yeah. Oh yeah. really? 
Wow, I don't remember the movie. <laughs> you might not like it if you but watch I it did, again. I remember liking I think she it. Would. It was a great movie. Yeah, I remember I did, liking I just, it. I just got to watch it again. Forrest Whitaker. Young. Just, just mm. didn't dig it, man. I like all the so, rest of them. Sean but... Penn. Young. Mm, young. Nicholas Cage in a supporting, not a supporting role. It's like a feature, basically. Hmm. Vaguely I don't remember, remember that, that wow. part, yeah. He's like a very, he's, a, he's like an extra, essentially. It just didn't... Just, it's one of it's that like I feel like everyone has that one classic movie that is objectively great that Listen, everyone says is great that you don't own, like. You're entitled What's to yours? your own wrong opinion. What a classic movie that I don't like. Yeah, I don't know. Let's come up with some opinions people will be mad about. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have no idea. I I literally I can't think of one either. I can't think of them. I mean, that's I'm my on one. Spot. That's I'm on the spot. I can't think of one. I'll try to think of it during the episode. Um, so. They essentially they take the backpack with the, the laptop case and it's got Josh's phone and keys in it. Yep. And they're like, call, just call him and get him to bring it back. And they're like, we can't. Eric's phone got smashed by Papa Nichols. Mm-hmm. Good callback. Yeah, very good. Episode. I appreciate that. And Craig's mom doesn't believe in cell phones because she thinks they cause ear sores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Which, they can't get in touch with them. So the laptop, the phone, the keys, they're they, all gone. They could have called Josh's phone though. Also, also, during the whole opening scene, Walter needs to chill because he was laying on his horn. Yeah, he was. He like, was constant. Deep. I was annoyed, and I'm not even in the situation. If anything, turn the car off and go inside and be like, like hey, guys, honking. come on. Why are you honking so but incessantly? When did the mom get an SUV? Like, this car situation has never made sense throughout this series. Maybe they lease cars and just are constantly I, switching them out. I, they must, because... It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, like we bring up the car stuff constantly because it never makes sense. I just it don't. It fits the the need for the story. All they own that we know for sure is a Ford Mustang. Yeah, remember because he was working on it. It wasn't Drake. Oh no, Drake had his own car. He had a muscle car, and then was Walter's it? car is the brand is like the new style oh, Mustang. That fancy new Mustang. Yeah. yeah. And then they may or may not still own the Doom buggy. In that sedan that they had in the driver's episode. They had like a small sedan. And what's the car that Josh hit Oprah with? Small sedan. That's they have cars. so many cars. They have like, they have like, they have like five or six cars. Damn. But also no cars. But at the same time, not a single car. Mom's <laughs> SUV keys were in there. It's like, well. They're like, oh, fuck. Mom's SUV has all the other keys locked inside of it. You got to get inside <laughs> the mom's SUV to get any other car. <laughs> fuck. Like, oh, no. At the very least. Fine, they can't fit the cake in any of the other cars. Drive one of those cars to Craig and Eric's house. Drive the Doom buggy. To get the keys and then come back. I don't know, man. There's it's a just, lot. None of it's adding up. The fact that they could have called Josh's phone is the most annoying part. Because they literally had Josh's phone. Yeah. That's a big loophole. As they like to say in the industry. Damn right. A big loophole. So then <laughs> they... It's great to have you back. They're right? like... Oh, thanks. <laughs> they're like, you know what? Let's fucking find somebody else's car to steal. So they steal Trevor's car. Mm-hmm. Which in it, don't they say that Trevor's girlfriend sleeps in his car? Yeah, but now she they said that she's sleeping in someone else's car. I need a backstory there. It's Trevor. Like what? That's, That's just your classic backstory. Trevor. It's, it's Trevor. It's classic me. Classic Trevor. Oh, okay. My Trevor. girlfriend sleeps in my car. I believe Trevor. that. If, if I had one. Oh, Damn right. No. <laughs> sad Trevor. Sad Trevor. Back. No, it wasn't sad. <laughs> No, it was supposed to be a joke. Oh, no. It's yoke. <laughs> um, so they borrow Trevor's El Camino. Mm-hmm. Um, it's awesome. And then immediately the next scene, the car is breaking down <laughs> on the side of like. like it'll be fine. A, the cake will fit in the bed. It'll be A very great. rural road. Yeah. And they handle the situation about as well as I would handle that situation. Same. Which is poor. I don't know a single thing about cars. Me neither. If there's one thing in the world I don't know, it's cars. Yes. <laughs> they're just looking at it like, that doesn't look good. Yeah, nope, they, they pop is... the hood and they're like, there it is. That's a lot of metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact that they saw that there was a belt off is good. Yeah, good for them. I don't know if I would just... have seen it. I mean, like, yeah, I'm sure that rubber thing is supposed to be loose in there. <laughs> I'm sure it's doing its job properly. <laughs> <laughs> Turning it on to see what like looks wrong is a good idea. Really? I feel like... Okay, so, yeah. Most of the time, though, it's just a dead battery, and you can't do jack shit about that. You got a dead battery? Oh. You ever had one? Yes. How'd you deal with it? I called and asked for a jump. Triple A? Oh. No, my dad. 
Mm. Or I also keep a, um, a a battery pack in my truck with like the jumper cables on it. Mm. Of course, you I know did, we I jumped did. a car the other day. We did. We jumped my mom's car. It oh, was nice. it was me, Jacob, and Jacob's mom. None of us who had ever <laughs> jumped a, a car. None of us. And the whole time we thought the whole thing was going to explode. I swear did to God. Did you Google it, it at least? I, I, I was on yeah, Google then duty then and they were on cable duty. And I, I hated thought it. for sure somebody was going to die that day. Did I show you guys when I was in California with Jesse, her car died twice? Oh, no. In the same day? She has an old car. From what I no, remember. She's got, she oh, traded. Oh, did she get a new one? Okay. So I was like, her old car was old. She did, but the battery just said gone bad so oh, when no. we were leaving the getty museum mm-hmm. it wouldn't start oh, no. so we had to call the like geico tow truck service or whatever they came jumped us and we went to go back to her place mm-hmm. and decided on the way for some reason we got to get alcohol so sure. we stopped at the grocery store <laughs> and they turned you turned it off <laughs> why didn't someone just stay in the car that was the dumb thing it was like why why didn't someone just stay with the car running or something or we could have just taken a different car to go get the alcohol it's anything anything but instead we decided let's turn off the car and then jesse was like i'm gonna try and turn it back on immediately just like see if it even works and it didn't oh no luckily her roommate came and like saved us that's good she didn't want to call the t- the uh the jump service again no so we got the alcohol and then we went back she took her she immediately drove her car to the shop her roommate took us back to her apartment and we started drinking and then she came back in someone else's car you were hanging out with the roommate, drinking? And Nathan. And, nice. And that one guy who went to UF, and I don't actually know who, what his name is, but he's a chill dude. I feel You've like you didn't tell before, us about and this. I need to know. What his, I want to know if I, I know I haven't heard him. this story. Hey, hey, Jesse, I hope you're listening. Can you text <laughs> us and let us know? I feel like I haven't heard this story. You might have. I don't think so. All right, anyways, jump. Well, first of all, I just want to say that it is 100% on Aunt Catherine that she trusted her wedding cake, her, like, four-tier expensive wedding cake to two high school kids who are dumb to, who are dumb to bring it in, like to who the are wedding. not good at stuff and also they're saying that the wedding is going to start in 45 <laughs> minutes technically the what the cake doesn't need to be there until the ceremony and the ceremony deep into the ceremony right like they're not going to cut the cake until like well into the ceremony middle ceremony. well into the well into the even the um reception oh sorry that's what i meant reception, yeah, that's not what we the mean ceremony. oh okay yeah. yeah sorry so i'm like they do not they don't need to they don't need to worry about the time other than missing their aunt's wedding but they don't really seem to like the aunt so it doesn't really matter yeah so the whole time aspect i'm gonna throw that out well, the that, i'm gonna debunk that well, well that's what well, well i mean they also <laughs> at the end talk about kind of how it doesn't really matter as much really remember because no i don't remember they were getting ready to go and they were like we can still get there before like they really need the cake yeah oh. all right oh and okay cool it's gonna be all hot it's a hot yeah. cake you know, when my brother got that, married, um, they gave us the... Because t- you know how you like you keep the top of your wedding cake? I don't yeah. know why. He left it with us, and we stored it in our oven, and we accidentally turned our oven on and melted his cake. So while they were on their honeymoon, we ate delicious melted cake. It was so good. That's, it's fine. That's fucked. I think that they're fine. <laughs> you ate melted cake? Because you're supposed to eat it on your first anniversary. That's what right? I think, yeah, yeah. you're supposed to freeze it. And but then, they didn't yeah. get to because we ate it a few days after Are you going to do that, Trevor? Why are you supposed to do that? Also, I don't know. can you keep cake that long? I feel like I hadn't heard Deep of that enough until of a freeze, you told I me. Think so. oh. I don't think I had heard of that until you told me that was what they were doing. Are we gonna do that? I. Pfft. If we have the freezer space, I it guess. Might be kind of weird. It yeah. sounds weird. Just don't do we'll it. We'll try it. Just oh. you just try it a little bit. Of, you get food poisoning. Oh no. <laughs> do it like a month later. Like oh, the wedding was a month Let's ago. Do it. Do it. One month Fifty years later. <laughs> 50 years deep. Uh, Put it in cryogenic stasis. Fry the cake. (laughs) Why would you be that old 50 years later? Because I'm not getting married till I'm 50, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, so I have a chance at getting married before you guys. (laughs) It's always a chance. (laughs) Doubt it. Oh, no. Got him. That's a fair doubt. Oh, no. Um, God, Trevor was a joke, dude. He's crying. (laughs) No, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, so the car is just fucked. a mess. It's fucked, yeah. And so what is it? First, the cops show up while no, they're that... peeing on a cactus? Yes. Is that the next part? I think so. Well, there's the... I thought oh, they locked... Well, no, there's like some... There's I thought like they locked the keys. Drake, yeah. uh, Josh reaches in with the belt. Like, when I say go, turn on the car, and Drake just turns it on, and it sucks Josh's jacket in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then spits out the chunks. Yeah. 
Uh, and then he gives him a big rock when he locks the car right, keys in. Right, because Drake locks the car keys in the car. He gives him the big rock and is like, what do you want me to do with the rock? He's like, kill me. Also, like this whole time. What if he had done it? <laughs> Damn. Jeez. The whole the time the Josh show. is making jokes about how dumb Drake is. I forget the lines, but they were all fantastic. There was a, I there was a bunch of One of my like, notes oh. is um, Josh Peck deserves an Emmy. That's one of my notes. Damn. <laughs> it's Drake's exactly. like, it's so Drake funny. goes to the engine. He's like, I'm going to see if I can fix it. And Josh is like, you can't fix a sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a bunch of them that were like that. And he, Oh, I do have a note that says Jacob is mean. I'm mean. Oh. What did I do? I think he was being mean to me. What did you do to Trevor? Say during no. the episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. You were mean to me at some point during the episode, so I wrote Jacob is mean. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know what you said. We're going to have to throw that note out because I don't remember it either. Cut that out of the podcast. Um, Abby, can you cut that out of the podcast? Abby, please don't cut that out. I think it's funny. <laughs> so let's see who she listens to. I usually don't cut anything out of the podcast, if I'm being honest. That you guys know about. <laughs> oh. <Hey-o>. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Uh, so they go and take a piss. Yes. At well, a cactus. Yeah. Drake does destroy Josh's foot with the big rock. Yeah, right, big rock. Bo- Same rock foot that got foot. destroyed in Paging Dr. Drake. Exactly. Months earlier. Months. Maybe when he years. had a surgery. I don't even know if his physical therapy is over yet. Probably. It's just a foot industry. Industry? <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Injury. Um, so they go take a piss. The cops come. The guy, um, he looks like Chris Farley. They, he does. He yeah, reminds he me of exactly him. Yeah, he looks exactly like Chris Farley. Is it Chris Farley? Maybe he's related. Uh, it's, not it's not Chris, Chris Farley because he was dead. <laughs> um, Chris but it might be like his relative. What's it looking like over here? Farley. Kevin P. Farley. So it's like his relative? Oh my gosh. Wow, it looks a lot like him. Kevin P. Farley. That's a shout out. Definitely. He was in Waterboy. Oh shit. Who was he? Is he actually related? Uh, he it seems be. like it. Yeah, it seems for sure. That's so crazy. That, that's that's, pretty that's cool. a good get. Yeah. Because yeah. wow. I feel like that was a lot of inspiration for Josh. All right, well, the cops show up, and one the guy who's Chris Farley's relative is like, Saying how he has a wife, and the other one is like, I think you made up your wife. And it turns out he made up his wife. Yeah, because he never let him meet him after three years of uh, being partners. Yeah. The, the name he used was a woman that he, well, a girl that he knew in the ninth grade. Yeah. Who said no to and that he laughed, laughed at, at her. It's yeah. pretty mean. Why would you pick someone so mean? If you're going to have a fake wife, you should pick somebody better. I don't know, man. He was still in love. That's sad. That's He's... also very something about Mary. Yeah. You gotta watch the movie. <laughs> I feel like I would relate too hard. No. No. So then the so then Drake and Josh come running back and um the cops drive the, off. Yeah, as the cops are driving away and they're like, they're wait, 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 please help us. They're literally in the same frame at times. It's like there's no way those cops didn't see them. Didn't right. see them. They, they were didn't like, look probably behind like them. two feet away from each other, but um Or hear them. Whatever. They were screaming. Didn't hear them. That's fine. Just um, run up and hit the car. Just like, hey, bang. So Drake and Josh are stranded once again, Mm -hmm. and then they see uh, the headlights, right? Yes. And it's a tow truck. No. That's the... (laughs) Sorry. No. (laughs) No. Abby, that's the... Oh, no. What is it? Oh, right. The Humvee. The Humvee, yeah. (laughs) Sorry. There's too many parts of this episode. There's two dudes. They're like, hey, can you drive us to the nearest payphone? Yeah, they're like, we'll give you 75 bucks, and then Josh is like, I got an extra 40. And they're like... Almost 100. They're like, yeah, (laughs) that's what the joke is. (laughs) And they're like, man, don't you guys have like cell phones? Why don't you call anybody? And they're like, nah, man, we don't have phones. Um, like you're in the middle of nowhere. With cash. With cash. No cell phones. Stranded by yourselves. Just you two. With a cake. Yeah. They're like, yeah. They take their money, push and them on the ground and run away. And yeah, they money. mug them for 40 bucks. And what they a bunch of possibly steal the 75 from Drake We're somehow. I'm sure of where the 75 was at the moment. I believe it was in his pocket still. But I probably didn't see him 40. take it out. Yeah, definitely the 40. 100% 40, but. Um, so the, those two dudes, those two goons steal that cash. Yeah. And then another fucking pair of headlights. A tow truck. A tow truck. A tow truck. <laughs> Leslie's towing. Yeah. Yes. And he shows up and he's like goofy and punny and he tries to help him. Hate him. Whoa. They're like, we, we locked the, the registration in the car. And he was like, oh, okay, I can handle that. And comes back with a tire iron. Smashes the fucking Just window. fucking smashes. Like, we could have done that. He's like, why didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fair. They had a big rock. And then as uh, Josh goes to get the registration, uh, the tow truck guy starts talking to Drake. 
and uh, Drake is like, oh, so who's Leslie? Is that your wife or something? And the guy's like, no, that's that's me. I'm Leslie. And he's and like, that's a girl's name, Drake you proceeds bitch. to be a little turd. Yeah, piece of shit. Sexist. Yeah. Well, no, not, I don't know about I that. I wouldn't really call it sexist at all. <laughs> it's more just being a turd high school kid. Um, So Whoops. he says that he's dated five Leslies and they were all girls. So the guy gets pissed um, and he leaves. Yeah. Um, to Respect the, to the two Leslies that have come before him who fought in wars, as he said. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he came from a long line of Leslies. <laughs> and he said that they can rot in a sack. I remember in yeah. high school, I had a um, um, teacher... That was named Leslie. He was a dude. Mm-hmm. I feel like Leslie is, is definitely a, a guy's name as well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely it's, totally it's definitely both. It's like neutral. Alex. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if it's the Y. That was my teacher for. He was he was like a fill in sub, but long term fill in sub. Mm, yeah. So he was he was my teacher for half of the year for algebra two, and he was my teacher for uh, Vietnam War. Ooh. Two very different subjects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What? I, I'm sad I didn't get the original teacher for Vietnam War, though, because everybody said he was classic. Still good class, though. Nice. People don't talk about Vietnam enough. It was an interesting war. Yeah. Don't just look at me like that. <laughs> like, for all you podcast listeners out there, Abby just stared and smiled at me. <laughs> she was like, I don't know. I mean, no, I get it, dude. I wrote a whole paper in um, journalism ethics on like news reporting during the Vietnam War. Yeah, dude. That's, it, it blew weird, up. It was a weird war, man. It was an interesting war for sure. I just realized I was really far away from the mic. Um, So they're stranded there. And then they try to uh, figure out what's wrong with the car again. Because now they can get inside. Yeah, they try to fix it themselves. So they try to start the car again as um, Drake is looking for shit. And um, he thinks he knows what it is. So they they try to fix, they try to plug back the wires and bend some metal back. Yeah. And then they they start the car again. And it cranks. It goes. It starts running. And then it bursts into flames. Rip. Yeah, the whole thing. Just the engine in bur- flames. Yeah. yeah, and then like they get out of the, the car, car and look the at engine, it. Engine, the cake. Then Rip the, the and the cab. Yeah, the, cab. the cab catches Just fire. Everything. The bed catches fire. Which how does the bed catch fire? That doesn't really make sense. Rip cake though. Whatever though. Rip the cake. That was expensive. That was a very. You think mul- so? How much a wedding cake? Wedding cakes. Cost? I don't know, but I'm sure they're expensive. And that one was like at least four tiers. And also That's how, a big cake. Ten tier cake. How the fuck did that cake stay up in the bed of an El Camino? Why did she trust Drake and Josh with her wedding cake? Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. They're Drake or oh, uh, the Josh whole time they're also trying to impress no. this awful aunt because they want her beach house. Yeah, they want the beach oh, house. I don't think, I don't think we ever mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. They want the beach house. They want her really nice beach there house. Because really she's no... old as fuck. She's eighty nine. She's probably gonna die. There was soon. no B plot in this. Nope. At no. all. None. Just Zero. this story. Zilch. That was it. That's all that's going on. Every This is the first one in a long time that didn't have a B plot. Every yeah. scene was the car. I think since Dr. Phyllis, but I don't even really count that one because that's like a recap episode. Yeah. Um, but that was all the episode was, yeah, right? Was really there an after credit was. sequence? They yes, did the bird like poop. a bird Oh poop right. Scene. That was yeah. There's like a lot of gross bird poop on poor Josh. It was a shitload of bird. Yeah. Poop. It was like a bucket full of bird shit. Um, and it was like chunky, like vomit. Yeah, it was a lot. It got in his mouth. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> it, was, it was. I can see why they cut it because people probably would vomit. When I was a kid, I went to Disney World and I got a bird pooped on me. Really, I've never oh, gotten fun. a bird pooped on me. Yeah, it's good sweet. luck, apparently. I mean, I was like five, so I was pretty cute, no matter what. Were you pissed? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sure I cried. I wasn't angry at the bird. I was just sad because I'm like a bird poop. <laughs> Hello. It's yeah, not, it's I was, not fun. I Kids was are always crying. On. Yeah. So um, you didn't laugh about it? No. I was five. You wouldn't laugh about that at five. No. Kids laugh at poop. No, they would just cry. No. I don't know. A bird pooped on me, that's I would think I'm gonna die. Something scary and gross happened. Yeah, I wouldn't like that, no. I mean if it happens, you just gotta like tell your kids that it's funny so that way they laugh and not cry. Well that's great. I don't know you if do that, that when you have kids, Trevor. Don't kids like really <laughs> respond to your personal like they look to you to see how they should react when they're young? Yeah. Maybe. But I'm sure my mom didn't see that I was pooped on and then start crying. I'm sure that she was like, it's <laughs> she okay, just we'll starts get some crying. <laughs> I'm sure that she just was like, we'll get some napkins. But I was a kid who got pooped on. You don't think I'm going to cry? I'm you not... think that a kid can't have their own reaction to an incident that they only mirror whatever their parents react to? No. That's not... literally what you said, that's Trevor. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they look. Tell to... me what you're saying, Trevor. I'm saying they look to him for influence. So if your yeah. mom was like, 
oh no, then that's when you would go, this is bad, and then cry. Yeah. But if your mom was like, it's fine, you might be like, it's fine. I don't think yeah. my mom like, she's like this. Cared. This is fine. Like when kids fall, like like a lot of my relatives, it's like the kid falls and like hurts themselves. Parents go, you're fine. Yeah. And then the kid just keeps going. It's like, I guess I'm fine. Yeah. So, also, same thing. I also, when I was a little bit older, but still in, like, elementary school, went to, um, like, Monkey Jungle, where, like, <laughs> you're the one in the cage. Wait, what? Monkey Jungle is, like, you're the one in the cage, and the monkeys are, like, all around you. Oh, in that's the cage, weird. And you walk through and stuff. That um, sounds like a good way to get shit thrown at you. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> okay. Well, not exactly. But you get a lot of poop thrown at you. <laughs> yeah. There was a monkey above me and it peed on my arm. Oh, no. Gross. Yeah. And then I, a camp counselor wiped it on his t-shirt because I, I was in a summer camp at the time. Uh, he was just like, whoop, good job, Abigail. <laughs> that's what he did, yeah. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what do you guys rate this episode out of 10 Quattlers, Abby? Um... I mean, I thought it was fine. I wasn't like super impressed. I'll give it like a six. Okay. Um, I thought it was funny. I liked it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I was. At, I'm at six point five. Okay. You have to give a solid number. No, I he, don't. Yeah, that's not oh. real. <laughs> you edit all the episodes. Have you not heard that? I think thing? that evens out to just six point five. Six point five. Six point five overall, which I think is that's a fair. That's fine. I liked it. I thought it was funny. It was all right. There was funny yeah, moments. It was, it was overall... a lot of good lines by Josh telling Drake he's dumb. That's Those what I'm were Josh's reactions the highlights. Are pretty classic. Yeah, they were good. I think he, I think he improvises all of them. It's funny. The sandwich thing was hilarious. We got a, we got a classic Farley in the episode. That's pretty cool that there's a Farley in the episode. That is really cool. Kevin P. Farley. That's crazy. Um, so who do we want to shout out other than Kevin P. Farley? I want to shout out Ryan Happy because his name is Ryan Happy. He was a thug. <laughs> oh, he was one of, one of the guys. Ryan yeah. Happy. Uh, let's see, full cast. We got Ryan Happy also for oh, stunts. Oh, a stunt double too. Oh, cool. That's cool. Huh. I'm going to shout out David Van Ripper for the visual effects. Nice. I'll do Nicholas. Why do I always pick the names I can't do pronounce? Severco. Where do you get the V from, Dread? This is a Z. Zico? <laughs> So, I mean, it is a really hard name to pronounce. Impossible know. name. S Z. He's the production assistant. Good job, Nick. K O. Good job, Nicholas. Um, and let's clap it out for Drake Bell doing that music. <laughs> um, look at that audio. <laughs> but those are our shout-outs uh, yeah. for this episode. It was it was decent. It was solid. Um, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. It was a good time. Yeah. You guys have any uh, last wrap up comments? Um, thanks for letting me be on the episode. Thanks yeah, for being on Of course. Back, thanks Abby. for being on it. Oh, of course. Do you have anything to shout out? Other than the person I just shouted out? Other, well, yeah. Any? Well, usually when we have guests, I ask them if they have any uh, personal stuff to oh, shout out. Oh, okay. Anything you want to plug? Um, yeah. Okay. Again, Twitter at harbor underscore boys. And then, like, hey, Instagram at a b b y d r u e k e. Nice. Oh, yeah. and also fucking sub on Apple Podcasts. Yes, please. We are on Apple Podcasts. I link I feel it. like we don't say it enough. We, we yeah, don't. It's yeah. never really said I think we said it once. We we are on Apple Podcasts. Um, there's a link on our like home YouTube page. Or if you're listening on SoundCloud, also on our home SoundCloud page. Because Abby does a lot of work for this podcast. <laughs> Abby does so much work for this <laughs> Trevor podcast. and I don't do any work. <laughs> We, well, sit, we sit here, drink, and act like idiots. Every and now and Abby again, does I does all the rest of it. Every now and again, I like a comment on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I go or through and make it. sure to like stuff with my personal like accounts. Yeah. But um, but thank you guys for listening. Uh, I've been Jacob. I've been Trevor. I've been Abby. And go watch some Drake and Josh.